Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, we will learn very interesting topic around double, decimal, integer and string. Let me go to the video agenda. Let me show you the question. What is the difference between double and decimal? So here if you see, I have created a double A variable, double, and I have given 1.1. And decimal B have given 2.2. What is the D written here? What is the meaning of it? Is it wrong or right? So all these questions we will clarify in this video. Next, can you add double with decimal variable? Can you add this too? And what will be the return type? What kind of if you can add then what will be the return type or it's going to throw some error? All of this we are going to see. Next, how can you sum all the below variables. So for example, 1.1 is a double decimal integer string. So is it possible to sum all of them? If so, how can we do that? Let's see it. All right. So let's move on to UiPath Studio. Moving on to UiPath Studio, let's start creating variables. Let us create variables with a name. Let's say, for example, I want to first create double, double A. So what will be the variable type? It should be double. How do you find that? Click on browse for types. And here you type uh, system. They are all part of system namespace. Okay, system. Then if you type double, you get it. So it is from the system namespace. Okay, one learning point. So you have created a variable double A. Now what is a double? You have heard about floating points, right? One, for example, one is an integer. If I'm typing one integer, 1.1, it's a, it could be a double. So this is a double. Now let's create a decimal. Decimal B. So how do you get the decimal? Again, it is part of your system namespace. So take the namespace dot and then type decimal. So here you get the decimal. So this is a decimal. Now what is the difference you tell me? 2.2 I have written. So what is the difference between 1.1 and 2.1? Both looks alike, right? So what is the difference between double and decimal? This is an important point to know. So remember this. So double, for example, if I said double. Okay. So what is double and what is decimal? In double, for example, if I select this and start typing numbers for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 4, 4, 4, 5, 5, 5, 6, 6, 6, you know, some numbers I'm typing. Okay. Finally, I'm typing 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9. Okay. I have typed. The moment you come out of it, what happens? The precision is less. You can see it has stored until 5, 5, 5 only. Okay. And if I go with decimal, let me type something. Okay. 8, 8, 8, 4, 7, 7, 7. 9998855. Now let's see how what is the precision of decimal. So if you see decimal has got more precision, it can store more values. So what is the difference? So double has low precision and decimal has high precision. And why? Because this stores the data in 64 bit memory. So it has got less memory. Okay, and this is going to store the data in 128 bit memory. So this is the difference between both of them. Now let's understand, can you add double with decimal and what will be the written type? Can I add double and decimal? Let's see that. For example, here, I'm going to get the assign activity. And here, let's create a variable let's say some and we don't know what the, what is the written type okay just we will take some written type for example if i'm going to store the decimal written type okay now here let's add the variable which contains double is double a plus the variable which contains decimal is decimal b okay and let's change the value of both of them Let's keep it pretty simple. You understood the precision difference. 1.1 I'm typing. And here let me type 2.2. Okay. 
So 2.2. So what would be the sum of both of this? So it is 3.3. That should be the sum. Okay. Now there is an error. What is the error? Cannot assign from type system dot double to type system decimal. So it is saying when you are doing a sum of decimal and double, what is the output we are getting? So when I do decimal plus double if I do or double plus decimal or decimal plus double if you do what is the output type it always comes as double the output type is always double so here that is why it is saying cannot assign from type system dot double to type system dot decimal so what we will do will come here because the sum variable is a decimal type we have set right we come here and change it to double system dot double now after this the error has gone now if you run this look at the problem what is the problem compilation failed or was cancelled and it is saying literal of type double cannot be implicitly converted to type decimal you cannot convert a double to a decimal use an m suffix to create the literal of this type okay so it is saying you cannot do it so what is the meaning of this let me show you for example here it is a decimal and this is a double now how the interpreter will understand hey 1.1 is a double 2.2 is a decimal there is no such differences right it looks in terms of the value here we have declared understood but the interpreter looks at the value and it will decide okay this is a double or this is a decimal how it will do now for that we can write something called d because we are using vb.net let me try something called with m does it take no okay so here d means decimal okay so here i am saying out of this two where i am writing d that is a decimal 2.2 is a decimal this is a double now if you do this now look at it without converting double and decimal see i am not converting double and decimal they are as it is i am not converting them by convert to decimal convert to double i am nothing doing i am simply adding them just by writing a d here okay so that the interpreter understands now the moment i write a d and i am going to uh, you know run this let's see what is the output so the output come in sum is a double format right it will come in double format so if you see oh, we haven't got any message box right let's put a message box message box Okay. Now let me run this. Now look at the value. What value we have got? 3.3. So 1.1 plus 2.2 is equal to 3.3. And then with that you can see so many values have come. Getting it? So many different values we have got. Okay. So this one you have understood. The output of adding decimal with double gives a double. Click on this OK then go here so you have understood when i add decimal and double so what we have learned here in the decimal value declaration add a d suffix okay now you will say okay rakesh what if i don't write that for example i don't write it here i'll not write it here what i will do here directly i will convert this decimal using convert to double will it work convert to double okay and i'm going to pass this value now if you do this the error is gone save now let's run it okay it still gave the same kind of error use an m m generally for c sharp for v dot and you are i'm writing d d for decimal okay all right so this is still not working you understood right so convert to double when you are convert decimal to double that will not work okay now let's do one thing the main theme is we will try to add a few variables which are of different different types so here let me create another variable called integer int uh, a b c okay integer c and then let's select int 32 
and let us give some value let's say three okay the moment i am creating an integer variable and here if you write 3.3 .3, what would happen it will give an error what is the error option strict on disallows implicit conversion from double to integer so you cannot you here you have de declared int 32 and you are writing a double so that is not allowed okay so i'll keep it three next i'll create a create a string variable so str d and even though it is string i'll keep some value let's say four in double code fine now these are the values of the variables and we need to add all of them so let's see how we can add them so to do that i'll go here first of all we have understood the decimal one i'll keep a d here because it will anyways throw an error if i don't write that now here what i can do i can simply add two things okay double and decimal i can add so i will add decimal and double hmm? decimal b this double i have added after that let me convert both the values to an integer value possible now if i do convert to integer you can write or c i c c int you can write so if i'm converting it what is the output let's see that okay so now here it will throw an error right let's see sum it gave three so here if you see the variable sum is of double type but even though you are sending him an integer it can still occupy it will not throw an error if you see the sum is double type so here the output is an integer but the double can still occupy the integer plus floating values okay this is clear now after that we have a variable plus what is the variable uh, int c right this is the variable then we have a string variable so string variable uh, is there in strd so this string variable i can convert this to integer so what i will do i'll say c int convert to integer and i'll put that in a bracket clear okay now the output will come yes let's save it and run this okay so the output 10 half come getting this so this experiment is slightly important so that you understand the differences between double a um, and decimal double um, right and then in 32 string your sum variable can be still be double even though your complete output is integer so all those important points that you have learned in this video okay convert to integer exercise done Alright guys, so I'm going to pass this information in the description of the video. If that would be helpful for you, you can still use this content from my description of the video. Thank you guys for watching. We are going to meet once again in our next video. Till then, take care. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and give keep liking the contents that you're watching on my channel. Thank you guys for your contribution.